Hello and welcome to the another workflow and tips video. In this week's workflow, I'm going to demonstrate one of the most challenging problem that every designers, engineers or analyst faced. You got correctly transferring the data from mold flow analysis to the actual machine. At times when we start the analysis, we are not aware on that on which machine the mold is going to be set. Yes, mold flow helps in understanding the machine size and the profile requirement. But how do you go and transfer it, it in on the actual machines? Now, let me get started with a few of the settings that you can do at the beginning of the analysis. We have an multiple ways of specifying the field controls with the injection time, flow rate and possibly if you know that a machine you can also push, start with the like ramp position versus ramp speed but this is what we are going to demonstrate in today's workflow. The other thing that I want to make you aware is that we can specify the machine right at the beginning of the analysis. We have number of machines available in our library from which you can choose upon or you can create your own machine as well. What data would be needed is like machine injection stroke and machine screw diameter. Your request, I have put it to the development team and they have come up with an a customized spreadsheet which will help us to size the machine and do the injection profiling. Like in this case, I have run the analysis, uh, a simple fill analysis. And if you're working on a mid plane and dual to oven, you should get the result like RAM speed versus or recommended uh, RAM speed recommended XY plot. That's what like short volume versus short percentage. Now we need to export these results in the XY plot. You should get it into the result tab in export and publish and I will export these as the like RAM speed or recommended RAM speed. I'll just put it like I keep it simple. I saved it and like to introduce you the spreadsheet which I got from the development team. Now this is particularly designed it for any machine size and injection profile. You may get started with some different machine at the start of analysis and suddenly your mold has been taken onto the another machine. How do you go and fit in the injection profile for that machine? Now you can see in the spreadsheet there are some like can green and yellow legends. The green one are the other spaces has to be fill in or mandatory and yellow one are the other spaces that will be calculated automatically by the by the spreadsheet it means in the in the background we have put in the formula and we will be using the stroke percentage versus ram speed the text file that we have exported out and and see that how it transfers into your required machine so let's get started so first and foremost we need and like in a part volume which you can get it through the mesh statistics as well okay. or I would say a best way is to check it in the log profile and this is where you will find that part volume to be filled so I'll copy pay, copy from here paste it your here now I have not included any runner in your, my part but if you are included the runner or fit system, uh, then just enter the volume of the runner for this. For the demonstration purpose, I will keep it at zero, but whenever you have it, just enter the volume of the runner. Now the injection time. 
since I have started this analysis with the automatic probably I don't have the provision to pick it from there but I can find it in the log so I would always recommend to pick the injection time from the log value okay and then it automatically calculates the flow rate you need to specify the barrel diameter like in this case I'm going to specify the barrel diameter as 50 and rest of the things like short size will be automatically calculated including the nominal run speed compressibility factor usually it ranges from 8 to 10 percent I'll start with like 8% and suture position like uh, my barrel diameter is 50 and you can see that it automatically gives the position of like short size and the starting ram position as well so in this case I would say that my suture is going to happen at like 5 and it automatically adjusts the starting position now we have to copy the data from the spreadsheet this is the spreadsheet uh, or the text file that I exported out so copy this data of short volume percentage versus the RAM speed percentage or sorry and put it over here if you have more number of points in this case I have put like 11 points but if you have more points just increase it and the last one is the is the average of uh, all these points so probably you have to push in this average uh, row uh, a little bit down over here okay that's it and then we have uh, automatically generated values for you now things to be a little careful uh, here if you have the number of uh, rows more than what we have it in a default spreadsheet in the final spreadsheet you have to put it this in the reverse manner you can see that this is been put into like 100 it starts from the 100 and all the way go down and same as you have to copy from here uh, and then go down so this you be careful because rest of the things will not be calculated if you are going wrong over there so automatic formula is been put so be just be careful uh, when you are entering this value so nominal speed we copy it from the or it's been taken from the spreadsheet or the one the earlier tab starting ramp position and everything has been and you can see that we got the ramp position and initial ramp position that was like with the default but we have got the now ramp position with the final ramp speed as well so these are the like the one you have to get started like ram position versus the final ram speed it's ready to go on your machine now this graph needs to be adjusted with I'll show you how to adjust that select the data this is the nominal ram speed it picks up this value and then here just be sure that you are entering the exact value like 91.7 and uh, this has to be done manually and enter the, the final value of like 33.86 speed I let you know the importance of it uh, why we are entering this value okay and you should get okay and you can see that the nominal ram speed the 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 line of Romina's ram speed should touch to the highest value of the initial ram speed this is just to cross check that your calculations are correct if you are probably if your values are going above this value uh, or initial uh, RAM speed is going above the nominal then there's something wrong with your calculation so be sure that you calculate it uh, in this one and this could be like in a starting position can be adjusted as this like the phi in this case just edit it again and instead of like 10 I'll put it as phi 
it okay that's it you're ready to go so pick up the ram position versus final and you can put it on your any machine i will leave this spreadsheet along with this mail uh, you can use it and try it at your end uh, pretty simple i hope this was helpful to transfer the mole flow data to the actual machine thank you for your time